Welcome back to Jill's Journal. Jazz hands. <laughs> Today I'm here with my guest, Valeria Guzman, CEO of Being Annoying. <laughs> if you don't know who she is, this is my ex turned girlfriend. <gasps> I thought we'd start this episode by reading a Reddit story inspired by two hot takes But we're just gonna read one story because I've always wanted to read a story like a Reddit story on my channel and like react to it This is from Am I the Asshole? Am I the Asshole for coming out at my sister's wedding? Bruh. I, 29 male, am gay and up until last week I haven't told my family yet I think my family always suspected, but they never asked because being gay isn't really approved of approved of in our family. I have three sisters. 36, Michelle, 35, Julia, and 22, Annie. I have been dating Peter for a few months now, but haven't told my family yet. Michelle got married last week. During the reception, lots of people were making toasts, including my father. He said something along the lines of, I finally have my first son-in-law, and hopefully I will soon have two more. Maybe someday even a daughter-in-law, if sissy pants here mans up and gets a girlfriend. Everyone laughs except Julia. After the toast and before dinner, Julia came over to me and asked me if I was okay. I was sad and didn't hide it all that well. I said I'm fine. Dad's comment just bugged me. She said to try and let it go for now, and I did. During dinner, there were many tables and my immediate family was at one. My father starts asking me if I have a girlfriend already. Yeah. If I will give him grandkids, etc. I brushed it off. Then Michelle, who just came by the table to ask my mom something, said, Well, I can hook you up with a bridesmaid if you want to, unless you're wired the wrong way. Wait, is Michelle the, the mom? Michelle's the one that got married, I think. Oh, okay. Sister. Okay. Bruh, Michelle, out of pocket? Like, what? Right? Julia rolled her eyes. Then my mom said to her, maybe you should have that girl, bridesmaid, come over here. He needs to be with a woman at his age. I just lost it and said, actually, mom, I'm gay. The whole table went silent. Some other people heard too, and Michelle started crying, saying I ruined her wedding with my awful confession. Most of my family says I'm an asshole for saying it then. Julia's on my side and said she's perfectly fine with me being gay. And if our family didn't want to hear it, they should have stayed quiet. Am I the asshole for ruining Michelle's wedding? No. No. Michelle no. deserved it. Michelle's <laughs> First, it was his dad made a, a weird comment, right? Yeah. His dad was the first one to be like sissy pants over here. If sissy pants mans up. And gets a girlfriend. And gets a girlfriend, yeah. And then the mom said, oh, um, I can hook you up with one of the no, bridesmaids. No, the Michelle, the sister that was getting married, said I can hook you up with a bridesmaid. And then the mom was like, yeah, bring the bridesmaid over here. The, one the only one age. that was like on his side and concerned was Julia, like his other sister. Bro. It sounds you know, like it sounds like the whole family knew that that he's gay and they were instigating. I don't I don't even think that they knew that he's gay. I think his his mom and his dad were like hoping he wasn't gay. You get they're me? in denial. Yeah, I feel like it, like Julia knew like everybody figured that he was, and it was just so obvious. I feel like if your parents know that you're gay, I feel like they don't talk about it. You don't talk about that. That's you get not me? True. I think like you don't talk about like having a girlfriend. You don't talk about like like as much as much pressure they put on him. Speaking from experience, not my own experience, but having a family member who I know is gay, it, it is talked about. It's like when are you gonna get a get a girlfriend? The way that I grew up. And I'm so lucky the way that I grew up, whatever. Nobody asked me when when it, when are you gonna get a boyfriend? You get me? Because they knew you were gay, but 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 that's when your experience comes in. Uh, because this guy said that his family he, he knew that they wouldn't approve. But like your family is accepting. But I guess in his case it's like they pushed him to the point where it's like, bet, you wanna you wanna freaking bother me so much, I'm gonna make it worse for all of you I'm, guys. I'm proud of him. I actually. think he did it fine. I think he did perfect. Not the asshole, oh dear god, you did not come out at her wedding. You were literally pushed into a corner yeah. until you snapped. Julia sounds like a great sister. I want to add that I think the family suspected OP was gay because their phrasing and comments were oddly specific. They basically set him up for this and they're blaming him for it. Literally. But yeah, growing up, I never got asked like, oh, what are you gonna, again, obviously, because the way that I would present to, like, I would be more masculine, always, like, throughout my whole life. So that was never asked, and I and I did come out at a really young age, so I think there was no, like, opportunity to be asked those well, questions. Well, tell us how you came out. I came out one day when I was probably, like, ninth grade or something, like, ninth, summer going into ninth grade, I think it was. And I was coming out of a basketball tournament and I was in the car. And mind you, I've always been very tomboyish. I would literally fake wearing headbands because I wanted to fit in. Since I was little, right, whatever, I, I used to play with like my cousin's toys and I would... I wouldn't necessarily dress masculine because my mom wouldn't let me. Like, it's not that she wouldn't let me, I was... I was so I was too insecure as in like people are gonna look at me. They're weird. gonna notice. Yeah, like they're gonna notice. Oh, and that's really sad. So like for events, I would have to wear dresses and like I didn't want to. And then 
I played basketball, so like that was like a cover too. Like, oh, she just plays basketball, so she's always like in sporty yeah. clothes. She's just a sporty girl. Yeah. Coming out of, I was leaving a basketball tournament, and my my parents are talking to me. It's my mom and my dad, and I'm in the backseat by myself. I'm talking about my friends and who I hang out with at school. They asked me who I hung out with, and I said like a specific group of names that they knew that they were gay, and they would talk to my my mom especially about like their girlfriends and their drama, and like they'll vent to my mom about how that's my mom so, doesn't accept them. That's so funny. Yeah, but then. I never told my mom that I was gay, but then you have my friends like venting to my mom, you know So one day she she asked me like so you hang out with the gay group in school and I was like, yeah And she was like, well, are you gay? And I was like, yeah <laughs> Like just like that and she was like, okay, like why didn't you tell me sooner? But in that moment, I didn't know what to say when somebody asks you Why didn't you tell me like you don't know what you're gonna say like I don't know why I didn't tell you but then as time passed I what I realized was that I couldn't tell my mom as as much as I knew she was gonna accept me as much as I knew that I was in an environment that was safe for me to come out and stuff like that and I was surrounded by all these people who loved me I knew that I couldn't tell her because I was so insecure about it still like I wasn't comfortable with the idea of me being gay I was told that I was gay since elementary school they'll be like you're gay and I had boyfriends I had I, I had like three boyfriends throughout my life they would always make fun of me they'll be like oh you're just gay you're just gay you were so obviously gay I was so but I was trying not to be gay you get Aww. me yeah that was so sad right so once I told my mom I couldn't tell her why I couldn't tell her or why I didn't feel comfortable to tell her but as time passed, I realized that I have I, I just wasn't comfortable with myself. And I knew that once I was ready to take that step to tell them, I can live like how I want to. You get me? And once I told them, I started dress, dressing more like myself. And you I started being more yourself. Yeah, I started being more myself. And then not I wouldn't say not until I feel like I graduated high school. Maybe towards the last years of high school, I felt myself just like dressing the way that I want to. And you had your, your first girlfriend. And, and I had my first girlfriend in high school. My parents knew about it. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you my parents were so happy that I was gay. Older generations are just not as accepting as we are now. Exactly, yeah. But your parents have been very accepting. They have been very accepting, but the one thing I can look back at now is at that age, at that age, how old was I? Like 14, 15, I would say. That age, you don't know, like you want your parents to be so proud of you. You want your parents to be like accepting, but I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that they were like, oh, like we're gonna love you forever. And one thing I did speak about after we had that initial conversation, we didn't talk about it really until probably I had my first girlfriend. My mom sat down with me and she told me, I'm sorry I didn't give you the reaction maybe that you wanted in the moment but what I can tell you on my side is that I thought that you were gonna get married have a traditional lifestyle with a man whatever but now so many years have passed that I have to rewire my brain that that's not gonna happen and I'm not sad that it's not gonna happen but it's just I need to get comfortable with the idea of having a gay child it also worries me like how the world's gonna treat you we need to see their side as well once she explained that to me like i needed my time to process that i was like wow like that's true because i i was only worried about what i was how i felt but i needed to know how they were gonna feel too and now they're perfectly fine they love me as it is they love jill as it is and and this goes for like my whole family like my grandma like my grandma loves her and it's such a blessing yeah no i know that i'm so grateful that that I landed with my mom and my dad because I have family members where I have a gay cousin and it's not spoken about. Like it's not as accepting or it's not as comforting as it could be. And look, we're in the same family. It's just the different the different parents, you know? Yeah. Yours is completely different than mine, well, you know? Because I'm more straight presenting. And so I think that when I came out, nobody would have guessed. I had a kid at that point already with a man, you know? Like, That's crazy. And not only that, I feel like the bisexual term is so shunned up. That's another thing. I came out three years ago. I came out in 2020 and it was because we started dating. However, I, I always knew that I liked girls. I just never thought that I would pursue a relationship with a girl because I knew my family wouldn't accept it. We met and we clicked instantly and I was like, this is Serious, like even if it doesn't work out long term, I want to be able to be myself. But were you out in like high school? I wasn't like out. Like people were like, oh, sh she likes girls. But within my close friends, I they always knew. I came out to my mom. We started dating, and I came out to my mom like a few weeks after. It didn't go well. She was at my house, and I we kind of like had a conversation, and that was the first time you told her. Yeah, and she was kind of like, 
no you're not <laughs> and she's she kind of like ignored it like was like i can't talk about this right now and she's like don't bother me like i'm busy we didn't really talk about it until like later that night and i honestly blacked out i feel like i forgot a lot of it because i was so scared i was so anxious yeah there was a lot said and a lot of like bisexuality erasure i was kind of like you gotta pick like you can't be both i don't take it personal or like gaslighting you like nah this is just like uh, yeah or like this is just like <laughs> a phase it's literally it's a phase, phase. you're yeah, bored, I'm like i'm you? literally 23 yeah. like i knew that that was gonna be the reaction so i didn't really take it personal but it was kind of like you don't accept it, that's fine, but you have to respect me because I'm an adult. This is my partner and she's gonna be around. That That's kind of it. And so eventually she got used to it, she came around. I really, I came out to my mom and I came out to my sister and I didn't come out to anybody else. Then I came out on the internet after I came out to them. So I didn't come out to any other family member. I knew they weren't gonna be accepting and like I didn't feel like calling my aunts and my uncles and being like, hey, I'm gay, hey, I'm gay. You have, yeah, you're not around them, you get me? Like Yeah, and even though, like I see them, they're part of my life, I just felt like that, that was none of their business. Would you call your uncles and your aunts and be like, everybody, let's have a meeting, I'm No, gay. well, I'll tell you this, when I first came out, not even to throw my mom under the bus or, or something, <laughs> she told me, well, I'm not gonna tell anybody in the family. Like you have to tell them? You have to tell them. Well, and I was like, I guess, but I, I, like, even in that case, like, okay, you're not an influencer, you're not gonna post a video about it on the internet, but, like, I feel like everybody just finds out eventually. Yeah, but I, then again, I, I was like, okay, and then I never, I never did. Eventually, she, like, she told her best friend, she started telling her, yeah. she told her mom. My family ended up finding out because I posted about it on the internet, and that was really scary for me, too, and I lost a whole bunch of subscribers. Yeah. And I honestly, like, yeah, it did affect me then, but, like, it was necessary, it had to happen, and I've never felt more like myself, and I started started being myself yeah. and I was free to be myself so it is what it is I came out and then my family members started finding out and I would hear through like my mom like they're, they're crying and they're heartbroken like I'm not dead um they can get over it honestly that's my attitude towards it if that makes me <laughs> then that makes me a I don't think that makes you any type of way I think that you handled it the best way you can like Possibly. You don't really talk to them. You get me? Yeah. Like if I could have it my way, my whole family would be accepting and I would be able to invite them over and have my girlfriend over. And that's something that really sucks about that is that like I know that they would never be accepting of that. And so I feel like that has caused a wedge between my relationship with my family and it sucks because I love my family. And sometimes it can like cause some tension in, a, in any relationship because it's like, well, why don't you tell your family this? Why don't you tell your family that? You get me? As far as like our relationship. Because sometimes maybe the other person will feel like a secret because like you don't really talk about that with them. Like I, I really only just talk to your sister. But I also really only talk to my sister. No, I know, but like I remember, again, you don't really encounter a lot and it's really sad, a lot of stories like mine. Like a, like I'm accepting? Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. don't, you get me? Cause like I've been in multiple relationships and not one of them have ever, their parents have ever been like, I'm so happy for you, like I love that. Like, you get me? Because that's the common thing. And obviously like sometimes it makes you think like, damn, am I a bad person? Like, am I like, no. But it's like, like I know because, everybody like, likes you me. You just have to be grateful for the family that you do have and their reaction. Yeah, like, I know. Even though it might have not been perfect. I know. It turned out really great for you. I, yeah, I know. And like, that's what I feel like most, if not all, gay people wish they could have. And I, I, I'm so grateful that I was able to have such a accepting family that I do. That I can, like another milestone of mine was when I cut my hair. Obviously my mom was like, don't cut your hair, don't cut your hair. Over time I've just felt more myself. But you see how my fa my whole family is with me. And my uncle that came up to me and just randomly gave me a hug and we were like, what, this is so random. Your, yeah, your family loves you. Like they all love me and it's like, I know that they do because they know, they like they know I'm a good person. And it's just like, damn, I wish like my partner's family kn knew that I was such a good person. Well, at you the know? same time I wish they, they knew that I'm okay and they they were accepting of me and, and that you're happy and that that you're okay like yeah that's a good way to put like, it like that i'm not doing this to like rebel like yeah rebel mm -hmm. like an insecurity or, or has like, no I'm, attention i'm just going crazy i feel like that's the, the thing with like a yeah like oh she's lost her mind yeah so some final advice that i would give when it comes to coming out to your family or whoever you want to come out to 
is be patient and be understanding with how they're feeling as well obviously if they're super upset at you it might be like appropriate to just be like maybe we can recheck this revisit this at a different time you know have you sit on it i can sit on it maybe we can come together at a different time and talk about it because i feel like moments like that can get really scary where your parents start to yell at you and then you shut down and it's just gonna blow up in your face and everything's gonna be ruined and but also listen like, to them as well what they have to say because they're also your I family i just think it's easier Set, than yeah done because a lot of people don't have a safe space to come out exactly and so like a lot of queer people have to wait until they have moved out of the house to like be openly themselves because they know their family is not accepting and a lot of times it can get abusive by the yeah and that's why i never i never came out like while living under my mom's roof so i guess that's very tricky coming out is a lifelong process it's just always something you're gonna have to Face. Being queer is always going to be. You're always gonna get looked at. You're always gonna. Yeah. And it's just something that you get used to, right? Like, I know a lot of people care a lot and they feel very judged. Maybe it's just because I'm straight passing, but like, if I'm seen with you, people obviously know that we're together. Do you think so? Yes. We're going out together, whatever. They don't, they think we're together or not. They see that you're gay. Yeah. Or I've gotten a lot of stares. Like, we get stares, like, if we're kissing or whatever. And it's just kind of like. At this you point, know? we make it into a joke. There's been people, like, remember that girl, the lady that was staring at us? Were we at a restaurant? No, that was staring at you in the bathroom? Bruh. One time, we were at a restaurant. It was me, her, and my friend. We all went to the girls' bathroom. There was three other girls in the bathroom, two in the stall, and one of, them, one of their friends was waiting outside. The one girl that was left out there, she's, like, checking up on her friend. She's like, are you good? Whatever. She turns around. She literally looked like Jill's me. She literally looks at me no, like she this. She goes like this. She goes like this. Like, I swear to you, And like I was that. standing next to her, and I was like, maybe she knows her. Like, I thought she knew me or something. What did she end up saying? She was like, oh. Oh, sorry. Or like, she was like, oh, okay. Like, something like that. And like, she walked out. Yeah, like, she gave me like, a like, nod. It felt like, no, she gave me like a nod of approval. Like, oh, okay. Like, you're supposed to be in this bathroom. Yeah, you get she's me? like, oh, okay, you're a girl. <laughs> Literally, it was like a nod of approval. I, and you know. But like, in that moment, I was like, so confused. And I wish that I would have reacted. Oh. Like, I wish I would have known that she was looking at you because she was I trying wish. to examine you why are you getting up to somebody's face like that like she literally was like about to kiss me like so she close. was so close but okay. there was another time that we were eating something and we were sitting down and the lady was like right across us we were at a uh, farmer's were we? market yes we were at the farmer's market we were sitting at the tables right and she was at the table across us and i'm like has she never seen lesbians before like bro she was like this so hard like so hard and we would just stare back we were like eating our ceviche like but it wasn't like far tables it was like little picnic tables like we don't want to be one to judge maybe she was like nearsighted is but it nearsighted she, we don't want to be the one to judge but she was the one to judge yeah no literally no she was staring there was one instance where one guy was harassing us oh yeah one time at a gas station long story short we were buying something at a gas station and that was it was me and jill and one of our Girl, uh, no, one of our friends that's also gay but she's femme like jill and it was past the hours of to walk into the store so it was through a window it's like a window and it was nighttime it We're was like nighttime. heading to like the club yes the ladies attending jill and her friend and i'm like in the back just waiting and this guy just starts to spit around himself and or spit around us basically and he was talking behind me and i i thought he was like on the phone or something yeah like, i was like oh there's somebody there that had pulled up after us but he's like talking on the phone and he's like these these like all the, all the slurs possible yeah. and jill's the type to be like ba -da -da, ba -ba -ba. <laughs> like, <laughs> she's like, like get in the car get in the car yeah and you can't you can't no but i was waiting for you to get in the car i was like get in the car babe get in the car and you're like no you get in the car <laughs> you thought i was gonna be the one that was gonna be killed or something. Yes, yes because you're the one that looks gay yeah side comment they were like you just mad you can't get a baddie like us <laughs> I'm not a confrontational person usually, but if somebody's being rude to me in public, it's like a yeah. fire in me. The like, guy that like, 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 like I feel like I feel like I could beat him up. I was able to get them back into the car, like stuffing them in there, and I was like, bro, let's go. Like you never know. Like you never know what can you, happen. You don't. Yeah, you don't. And this one loves to instigate. So I stuff her back in the car, and at stuff this point, <laughs> bro, I literally had to stuff you in the car. Like get in like that i was the last one to get in the car and at that point i didn't want to go out i didn't no, want to we go went out and we're all like i i had the shits remember <laughs> anyway that's it for this video thank you for watching like and subscribe that's how i end my videos go <laughs>